Mother of double jeopardy backstroking and butterscotch. We're on our way. Who was it? The Girl Scouts lawyers again? That was the commissioner. You will never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Diller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? Surely you jest. She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly, I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away, or at our earliest convenience. Great, I've been itching to bust some skulls since they canceled my so-called life. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. Anybody home? Guess not. Ah, Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh-so-enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. A very disturbed individual sits here. My toes are all a twitter that we've gotten another case so close on the heels of the last one. Don't say a twitter, Sam. Well, well, Myra Stump holding her audience hostage. You watch that particular bit of daytime fluff occasionally, don't you, Max? Whenever our TV's out of hock, for some reason I can't get enough of her sharp-toothed maternal ranting. You're a lovable but essentially useless lump of fur and icky stuffing materials, Max. On the contrary, I can be a vital source of alternative insight into the problems that plague you. Well, there's that. Let's get going. You lead and I'll follow haphazardly, shall I? One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. Where are we going, Sam? The TV studio. Goody! Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. W.A.R.P. Television's so mindless, you can't help but watch. Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. 
Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. I hope that's just a prop. I hope it isn't! It's got a falling star on it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star! How I wonder how you'll crash and burn! Uh, yeah. The Barrel Haven. From whence comes this storybook set? Clearly from a work of unparalleled artistic vision and emotional expressiveness. No wonder I haven't seen it. Once used for apples, now used for derrieres. Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! Could a fool... Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. Sam, I think my hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next! Who's next? You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. Look, hats off for dedication, guys, but I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of- Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name? Myra or Stump? Either and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. I'm creative, and she isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? You and Myra. Why the hate? Look, Myra runs her show her way, and I run every other show my way. If she doesn't want me on her set, I could care less. You mean you couldn't care less. If you could care less, then you do care some, which doesn't really... No, I was right. I could care less, because I care even less about what you're saying right now. Oh, burn! Quiet, knucklehead. What are you doing here, anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranchers trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom stardom will finally be ours! Rocketing to fame for the most insubstantial of reasons. That truly is the American dream. We'd like to apply for that instant stardom you promised? You want to audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it, but okay. All right! What do we do? I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Yeller. Tell me you've seen it. I'm not into horror movies. It's the classic boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes! Boy! That is so me! And Sam, you play the dog. Oh. Okay, Sam, ready? I need you to act like you've got full-blown rabies, understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog! Now, show me, rabbit! Um... Grrr. No! Dig deep! You should be just... frothing mad! Hmm... you doing? Sorry, I'm not hiring a dog who can't even do a simple rabidity scene. I don't know what went wrong. I was feeling so rabid. You look pretty disease-ridden to me. Come back after you've taken a few thousand acting lessons.
Need a broom, little buddy? I don't use brooms, Sam. I necessitate the use of them. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. Alien love triangle times. Looks like they're sold out. Maximilian? What the? You're probably wondering how I know your names. Not really. Psst. It's me, Bosco. What's with the slanted soup strainer, Bosco? Bosco? I know not that moniker. I am Lord Reginald Rumplebottom, Earl of Dukedom the third. Sam, what language is he speaking? I'm not sure, Max, but I think it might be... English. <gasps> no, really. What made you convert to British? It's because everybody's got an in for me, that's why! Yeah, we heard. I had to get a disguise to throw them off the trail. Oh, they'll never find me now. They wouldn't even know where to begin to look. Clever clogs. We want to buy something. Hmm, yes, hmm. Uh, quite so, quite so. What have you got? Well, there is still one kind of shaving cream the blooming skin bodies haven't got yet. Oh, yeah, I love shaving. That's funny. I've never seen you shave. I didn't mean myself. And I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. We'll take your last can of shaving cream, old chap. Splendid. Spiffing. Tickety-boo. Just bring it to the counter. Nothing for us right now. Indeed. Thanks, Bosco. Pip pip, honey nut cherry. I could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Pause up, pig. Dog. Pig dog. The skin bodies rule the streets. <laughs> Black. Fuggle. Blimey. Balance. The little bladder did it again! After him! I mean... Uh, tally ho! Tally ho, fool! Whipped liverwurst. Want some? Absolutely not. Sludgies. This week's flavors? Bangers and mash. That's sausages and potatoes to you yanks! Oh good! For a second I thought it was something disgusting, 